any major takeaways before you see video of this one? Um, yeah, we just got to keep hitting the little things. Um, other than that, you know, I feel pretty good about the entire day, but there's little stuff that we can clean up, and uh, I think it'll help us just keep moving the ball forward. And um, you know, like I had to stall out in our normal down and distance with that batted ball. Um, and I think if I maybe throw it a little quicker, he's not getting there. Um, other than that, you know, there's some other little stuff that we can point out. But right now, for the entirety of the day, I feel pretty solid. But you know, there's always you can look at it, good plays, and there's something you could find on them. So I'm sure we will. And uh, I'm excited to get back on Monday. It seemed like most anything you would do in practice this year, you can relate to something you did in the game last year. How much are you recalling? It's so nice. Yeah, no, the 12 games of experience is helping me so much. Um, it's just amazing what a year on the field can do. Uh, not just for the learning, but just for the just the feel and confidence, and um, you know, just working a lot a uh, lot smarter. Um, you know, this time around, and just a lot more comfortable with the role I have, and um, you know, just trying to come out here every day and compete, and uh, you know, just see how, how far we can take this thing. You know, I noticed early in camp that you you, you would say to your receivers, "Hey, I know we didn't complete that, but I mean, move like." two yards this way or, or that wasn't perfect but we're getting there and you were making these little screwdriver adjustments and the end the other day I heard you doing that too how much more confident are you in your command of the offense yeah um you know a lot more confident and it's more so you know relating back to the 12 games experience again you know it's I know how it feels you know obviously because I can relay it back to a game and how it felt on a good play bad play um you know whatever the case was and um it's been really helpful having the guys um put in just some extra work with me coming into the film room and just saying, hey, this is what we're thinking. Um, you know, I loved what you did here. Man, I think if you would have done this, it could have been better. Um, you know, and other times, yeah, I wish I would have put that one on you. You know, yeah. it's not all their fault, every time, you know. So um, I think that's really been helping us. And also just, uh, you know, we're just coming closer together. You know, I think this off season, our, uh, you know, our strength staff and coaches really put in a good, uh, put us in good positions just to get to know each other better. Um, and I think you can just tell the level of just how much we care for each other has gone up, and that's what's fun for me because, um, you know, that's what I love. That's kind of why I play football. You know, that locker room environment and building that brotherhood. That's a uh, that's what I'm really big on. It's it's just been helping us at practice. It's been helping us obviously for the receivers and quarterbacks. Um, I mean, you saw it today with the other three guys too. I mean, they're clicking on all cylinders too. So. Um, it's uh, I think we're headed in the right direction. Just gotta, you guys know how it goes one day at a time. So yeah, that just struck me when you said we didn't complete it. It's like you guys are a yeah. yeah no, we're no, you know this. We're all in this together. It's never, it's never one guy. You know, because everybody's gonna get a rep at it. You know what I'm saying? So everyone has to get the message. You know, and I know it's sometimes it's just that one guy who has a problem or it's that one throw I didn't make. You know, but at the end of the day, we're all gonna have to learn it some way. Some guys learn it the easy way though. So. <laughs> I was at having more of the tight ends at your disposal with Ray back, and I think you hit a Gavin on a post earlier. So yeah, um, they're doing phenomenal. Um, you know, I think of how many numbers they have, I think the competition levels just shot up. Um, you know, guys are fighting for reps now, and you can really tell with, um, you know, with guys like Gavin Ray today, just with how many catches and big time catches they had. Um, like on, I was watching Garber, Garber scramble drill on fourth down, and Gavin came back, made a heck of a catch, kept the drive going. You know, that's huge. You know, that's game. That's going to save the game for us type. And uh, you know, I think it's just kind of, it's kind of, we just revert back to all the cliches that we use that really are working for us. So it's just, you, you know, you fall to the level of your training. And I think those guys are really giving it their all this go around. And, um, you know, I think they're kind of making sure every stone is, you know, turned and, and all that stuff. And making sure they don't leave any stone unturned, excuse me. So, um, you know, I, I'd just like to see, uh, like to see what they can do the rest of the spring, you know, because it's going to be a challenge, um, you know, with the numbers, you know, obviously it's going to be tough for the reps, but you got to make them count. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. This could have been a, a tough turnaround today, practicing last night and then coming out early today. Were you happy with kind of the energy and, and how you guys showed up? Uh, no, I definitely, I wouldn't say happy. Um, you know, I thought there was some moments in practice where, not lulls, but it was more just, you could tell guys were getting tired, guys were letting the heat maybe get to them or, um, you know, we just got to be tougher than that. You know, it's uh, you guys know how it is in the fall, and it's you know nobody, you know, the heat's never gonna have to be a, it can never be a factor, and you know the other team doesn't care either. So it's gonna have to be something that we get through and work through, and uh, um, you know, just making sure that we're tougher than you know our own minds. You know, just don't listen to it when your body says stop. You know.
At the end in the uh, kicking competition, you had some interesting taunting dance moves. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, thought, I was going to say, I thought I'd get him to look. He's yeah. pretty focused, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that was pretty good, but, him not being able to look there. I thought that was pretty good. I'm supposed to be a wordsmith, but I have no idea how to describe <laughs> what you were doing. There's sort of gyration there. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Maybe you shouldn't try to dance anymore. <laughs> not too smooth out there. Maybe like, stick to the three-step draw. That might, yeah. how, do you, how do you taunt the Canadian? You're, you're only a commonwealth. You're yeah. not an actual country. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that might, that might get his attention next time. <laughs> no, he's doing well. Those guys are, uh, they made some big kicks, though. It was good to see. That would, that would, that would For sure. Thank you. Thanks, guys.